What is keeping you up at night? Welcome to Seeking God with Leah Klein, Health and Homeless Coach. My verse for you today is Deuteronomy 31.8. It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Is fear keeping you up at night? We all have times where we get thinking about things and catastrophizing and you know, a few other things and get hung up on something that might happen in the future. And I want to encourage you to stop and think about that and think about how, how many times is it actually, you know, what you were so afraid might happen how often has that actually happened? You know, did the worrying actually accomplish anything? Usually not. If what you worried about did actually happen, it may have been because you focused on it so much and that all you were looking for was the bad and you weren't focusing on all of the things that we're going well and all the things that God had given you. But most of the time, it doesn't actually happen. We actually, according to our first, we need to not fear. It's not necessary. We have with us, who's actually going ahead of us, someone who is so more than capable of taking care of us that we don't really have a legitimate reason to worry. As long as you believe in God in Jesus and believe that he is with you, then nothing else is as big as he is. If you start thinking that, oh, but this is a real fear, this is something I really need to worry about, stop and think, you know, it's like, how big are you making God right now? Are you shrinking God down into a box where he can't help you? Or are you remembering that he's bigger than anything you are facing? He always is. He's bigger than the whole world. There is nothing bigger than him. So remind yourself of that when you get hung up on that. God is not always with you. He's going ahead of you. He's breaking trail. He's preparing the path that you're going to go on so that it will bring him glory. It doesn't mean everything will always be exactly the way you want it to be, but it'll be exactly the way he wants it to be. So if we can let go of needing to have everything go the way we want and release that desire, you will be at peace with where God takes you and some of the detours that he has you go on on the way because those detours are for your ultimate good not the good right in this moment but the good of you becoming more like christ and for his ultimate glory which is our highest honor is to bring him glory so I want to encourage you, ask God to show you his presence and remove any fear you may be feeling. And if you're having trouble feeling his presence, let me show you how to spend one-on-one -on -one time with God in a way that I've never had anybody not feel God's presence. And those retreat times are just gold. They deepen your relationship with God. They help you feel that connection with him. And they give you direction 
for the path forward. So if you want to learn more about that, I do have a virtual option that I am doing now, and I'd love to talk with you about it. So reach out to me through my website if you don't have an email connection with me already, which if you're on my email list, you already do. Uh, you can also join my email list on my website, and the link is posted with the video. So I want to wrap up our time today with how firm a foundation is to remind us of what we're standing on and that we don't need to fear. So if you know this, feel free to sing along. If not, feel free to just listen. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in God's excellent word. What more can be said than to you God hath said, to you who for refuge to Jesus hath fled? Fear not, I am with thee, O oh, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand, upheld by my righteous omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of sorrow shall not overflow. For I will be near thee thy troubles to bless, and sanctify to thee thy deepest distress. And I will see you next time with another verse. See you then.